Welcome to Backyard Plinking. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. I'm going to do a little test today. Use the Crossman P15B CO2 powered BB only and the Daisy Powerline. 11A1. Simple test. Just to see. Our old nemesis, the soda can. There's seven of them lined up right there. They're completely empty. There's nothing in them. They're bone dry. We just want to take, both of these have new CO2 cartridges in them. We just want to take and see if they go through all of them. I'm going to shoot one high, one low. Then, we're going to take seven filled with water. Because both of these things are in all actuality, probably around the 400 feet per second range, something like that. You know. So, we just, we just want to see if one's a little, a little ahead of the game. Not too long from now, we're going to have a, uh, a blowback challenge that uh, it's taken me a little while to kind of figure out how to set it up uh, between all the ones that you guys have seen so far and a couple of you haven't. Just to see if one's better than the other, more accurate maybe. That was a challenge to figure that out. <laughs> Soda cans. Well, really empty. Well, you might be surprised about what's about to happen. Well, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and place your best now. How many do you think the Daisy 11A1, promise you, brand new CO2 cartridge, will go through before it stops? Well, you got the bug through there. Smooth bore. This BB, when it comes out of this thing, it's, you know, they're not consistent completely. Plus the fact, once it hits one of those cans, it could go any direction. So, go ahead and figure out how far you think it's gonna go. Got it? All right. Let's find out. See if we can shoot a little, uh, maybe a little high with this one, and we'll shoot low with the other one. Let me go see. Four. One, or three, two. Actually, I only got three of them, but that's because the BB was bouncing all kinds of directions. So, we'll try this one more time. I'm going to aim a little lower, try to get it in the center. We we'll already know how many went through the first time. Let's try again. All right. Let me go look. Two BBs on the table.
three of them. So, we're going to take one that has no hole. We're going to just kind of swap these things around. We're going to try the 15B. Don't forget, I told you, these BBs are crazy, man. They got, they got a mind of their own. They just kind of wander around. Once it hits something, it is a complete deflection of where it needs to be headed. So if I shoot in the center here, come out over here, come out over there. Tell you where that one wound up. Fourth can. That's it. As far as it went. But there's so much distraction deflection for our next test we're going to take some full of water let me clean this thing up real quick get my cans that are full of water get them set up we'll see how far one of these go place your bits all right there's a total of four. That's all. That was as far as we made it. The Crossman P15B is the one that actually made it through there to there. It was still inside the can. So, you guys figured out how many soda cans that are completely filled with nothing but water. How far is it going to go? This was a winner last time. Let's try this one first. What? I'm watering the grass. It's dry here. say two. Both of these are still completely full of water. So if we're firing something that basically has the same feet per second, then the Daisy 11A1 should go through two. Right? in there.
ain't nothing different. Sometimes the feet per second stuff will throw you off. The foot pounds of energy that something produces, whether uh, straight out of the box or manipulation with an ammo weight, makes a lot of difference. I'm three and a half yards away. That's all we got. Neat test though. Try it yourself. Easy to do. Empty cans, full cans. Will your results wind up the same way mine did? Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. But they're gonna be pretty close. Kinda neat to find out stuff like this, isn't it? Don't forget about uh, the uh, email, the Facebook. Let me know what you wanna do, guys. I mean, I'm willing to give back everything I'm you know it's up to you guys I, I don't really care I'm just kind of the middleman I thought this was a fun test we might have to do this again till next time my name is Charles it's been backyard plinking <laughs>